The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, text number 15, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August 18th, 1972, in Los Angeles. Translation. With sword in hand, intelligent men cut through the labyrinthine knots of reactionary work, or karma, by remembering the Lord. Therefore, who will not pay attention to his message? The knot we have experienced recently karma granthi. Granthi means not. Uh, so, just like a man, if it is tied very strongly with rope, hand and legs, he cannot move independently. Similarly, we are tied up by the Laws of material nature. Material nature, just like we, when we become criminal, we become, we are always bound up by the laws of the state. Either criminal or civil, it doesn't matter. Uh, but criminal is more strong. When you are under criminal laws, then it becomes very uh, painful. Uh, we cannot violate the state laws, either criminal or civil, it doesn't matter. But if we violate the civil law, there is no such uh, strong punishment. Uh, but if we violate the criminal laws, then it is very strong. <coughs> Similarly, we uh, living entities, those who are conditioned by this body, this body itself is a punishment. That is, rascal people, they do not know. Uh, they are trying to enjoy this body. Uh, the body, there are senses, so they are satisfied. The same thing, just like hog, he has forgotten that he has got a body of hog so that he is bound to eat stool and live in a filthy place, but because he has got the facility of sense gratification with other uh, female hogs, never mind whether sister, mother, or daughter, he is happy. This hog's life. Uh, the hog is satisfied. He doesn't matter. Uh, we are seeing that what is the abominable condition. Uh, in a filthy place, he is eating stool. We are conscious that what is the condition of his life, but he is very happy. Oh, is what is Very nice, happy, very light. I am eating very nicely, the first class food, uh, and having sex without any restriction. This is life. Uh, so, this is called maya, prakhipatmika shakti, covering. Avarnatika uh, shakti, prakhyabhatmika shakti. There are two kinds of energy of material, maya. One is avarnatmi, ignorance. One is living very condemned life. Still he is thinking, I am very happy. Or oh, we are all right. So that is called uh, avarnatmika, cover. Real knowledge is covered. Another shakti is prakhyabhatmika. Prakhyabhatmika means if anyone tries to get out of this, suppose our students are coming to Krishna consciousness, somebody is coming to us, Maya will dictate, oh, why you are coming here? There are so many restrictions, there are so rules and regulations, better give it up. 
Why yes? What is this nonsense? Give it up. This is called prakhyabhasana. Means the mind is dragging. Uh, because the more one is sinful, the more one is miscreant, the more one is the lowest of the mankind. He mind will not allow. Oh, why this rascal is here? He must suffer under me for more. Sometimes more, then he may be allowed. That is my business. Thankless business. That is foolish. Police is nobody's enemy. But when criminal, they punish like that. Put everybody into jail and beats him with the rod. That is the business of Maya, thankless. Huh? Nobody will thank police. When police beats, nobody will thank you very much. No. Nobody is happy. Similarly, Maya's business is very thankless task. But she is engaged by the Supreme Authority to punish. So, so long one is not conscious that what is the position of my life, what I am doing, eh? that is called not, tied up very tightly. Eh? So, here is the medicine. What is that? Jat anudhyasina jukta. Just like if there is very hard knot, you take a sharp knife and you can cut it. Then the knot will open immediately. Similarly, this knot, this materialistic way of life, is very strong. And this knot is uh, the beginning of the knot is sex life. Beginning of this knot. We are tied up by this sex life. The lowest is the hog. There is all the sex life. The knot begins. The, the world, we are bound up within this material law of nature. Why? Because we have got strong desire for sex. Not only in human society, in animal society also. The central point is sex. These people are working so hard because they have got the aim, I will enjoy sex life. Just like in your country, the hippies, they have given everything, but sex is there. They cannot give it up. They have renounced everything, eh? their father's property, their happy life, everything, but the sex is there. Uh, they cannot leave it. That is the central point of not. Where you shall go, sir? Uh, here is your not. Uh, therefore, this not is very difficult to cut. But here is suggested. If you take this sword, uh, what is that sword? Just anudhyasina, alas, chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Take this sword. This sword is only remedy. Just anudhyasina, juktya. If you take this sword, then karma ganti nibandhana. This hurt not of karma. Karma means fruitive activities. I am doing something now, so I am creating another body. If I am acting like a dog, then I am creating another body, dog's body, hog's body, tree's body, or even demigod's body. Uh, if you act piously, then you create demigods' body. Janma Isadya Sutta Sri. But that is also not. Uh, that is not freedom. Uh, just like you are American, boys and girls. You are supposed to be born of rich nation, rich father, than us Indians, we are born of poor father. So, but that does not mean that you are free from this knot. That is there. Uh, 
to become, people are trying that we shall be happy by becoming materially advanced. That is called durasaya. That is uh, hope against hope. Nati vidu sartha gatingi Vishnu. They do not know that destination of life is to attain Krishna consciousness. No, they do not know. They think by increasing motor cars we shall be happy. This is karma. <coughs> that will not help. Uh, this motor car civilization will be finished within another hundred years. It has begun say, for the last hundred years, and after hundred years, when they, the, the scientists say the petro, petroleum will be finished within fifty years or like that, so say hundred years this motor car will be finished. So anything we manufacture, the so-called empire, so-called material civilization, it is finished. It will be finished. But that is another not only. That we become captivated. So, what is this Krishna consciousness movement? We must have uh, three dozen motor cars and uh, three dozen wine bottles and this. This is their civilization. So, this is Karma Mantra. Uh, Nartam Das Thakur sings, therefore, Sata Sangha Chari Koinu Asate Vilas Te Karane Lagilo Mor Karma Bandha Fans. This is not Karma Bandha Fans. Satsanga. This is satsanga. This is satsanga. You are hearing Timad Bhagavatam in the front of Krishna and practicing how to become pure. This is called satsanga. And asatsanga means uh, this intoxication, illicit sex, and hmm, drinking. So many things, asatsanga, the advertisement, come on, here is cigarette, cool, make your brain cool <laughs> by smoking. <laughs> Rascal, they think that I am smoking, how it can be cool? But they purchase food. This is called Maya. <laughs> he is smoking fire and he is becoming cool. <laughs> And the advertisement is going on, and the rascals are captivated by this advertisement, and this smoke become cool. Yes. <clears throat> so this is called not. In so many ways, they are tired of. Huh? See, actually, if anyone is kovida, kovida here it is used. Uh, what is the meaning of kovida? In Delhi, kovida means. Intelligent. <coughs> so, <coughs> intelligent person should see to it. Just like it, it is in little, little intelligence. So we can see when the advertisement. We can immediately understand what is this nonsense advertisement. Uh, he is smoking and it is cool. So contradiction. You will find contradiction everywhere because they are not intelligent. They are thinking intelligent. But anyone who is intelligent, they can understand what is the tree. So uh, when actually one becomes intelligent, then the inquiry is, why? Why am I put into this uh, I mean, miserable condition of life? Uh, I do not want this, and it is forced upon me. I do not want to die. Death is there. I do not want disease. The disease is there. I do not want this. It is forced upon me. I don't want war. But the the draft board drags me to the war. Why this? This why question must be there. That is intelligence. That is kena uponisha. Kena. That is uponisha. Kena. And Sanatana Goswami, when he approached Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he also inquired this why. Kiyami kano more japi tapo troy. 
who am I? Why I am put into this uh, miserable condition of life? That is intelligence. You ask minister, he could understand that uh, I am minister, people adore me as very learned man. He said that to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Grammo Babohare Kohoe Pondi, Shotto Gari Mani. My dear Lord, these common people, my neighbor, because I am minister, and I am supposed to be educated, I know little Sanskrit, I know little Arabian language. <clears throat> they call me Pandit, learned man, very scholar. And but I, to tell you frankly, I do not know what I am. So what is the value of my education? I do not know. Kyami, kano mori, japatapatra. What I have? So this is called intelligence. At cats and dogs, they are suffering. They don't mind. I. They forget. You have got experience. A cat is coming to eat some milk here. You chastise. But again it comes. Again it comes. Because it is animal. And the difference between animal and man is, suppose there is very palatable dish. So man, unless he is offered, although he is greedy, although he is hankering after that food, but he is awaiting the invitation. Yes, you can take. But cats and dogs, without invitation, catches. That is the difference between the man and animal. Animal cannot control. Man can control. Although he is hungry, he can control. Out of civility. How can I test without invitation? So that is the difference. Therefore, the conclusion is man's life is meant for control. Not like animal. I want it immediately catch it. A, a, a cat and dog, or a cow, or a bull, rape. As soon as there is a female, immediately takes. So there is no punishment. But if you do that on the streets, raping, immediately you will be criminal. So that is the difference. The inclination is there, both in the animal and both and in the human being. But a human being supposed to be controlled. That is human life. The more you control, you become perfect. And though the more you become loose, you are enemy. That is the difference. So they do not know. They want freedom. In the freedom, in the name of freedom, they are becoming animals. That's all. This is the civilization. But here it is said, Kovida, intelligent. Intelligent man should take up this soul to cut the knot of our attachment for this material enjoyment. What is that? Anu dhyasina. Anu means always. Another Anu means following. Anu means always and Anu means following. Following means spiritual master. Or acharya, acharya upasana. How acharya, how spiritual master dealing? Let me follow that. Or, oh no, as soon as he becomes accustomed, then oh no, oh no, khan, always chanting. Oh no, dhyasina, osina, osina means by soul. Oh no, dhyasina, jukta. The karma bandha nivandana. We have to cut up this knot of karma bandhana. By the karma bandha, we are transmigrating from one soul, one body to another. This is not Darwin's theory. I am the soul. I am changing. I am selecting my body in this life. Not that by nature 
there is a, I must say, gradual evolution. Not evolution, it is already there. He, this living entity simply enters a particular type of body. Actually it enters, because suppose I am doing something, my next life has to become a dog. That is my punishment. Then I will have to enter into the womb of a dog mother, and she will give me the body of dog. Then I come out and enjoy like dog. This is the law. This is the law. Not that uh, my body is turning. So you can become dog, you can become God also. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. So you create your body at the present moment. You have got the facility, the human form of body. Now you can make your choice whether you are going to be dog or whether you are going to be God. Both. Those who are devotees engaged in my devotional service, they come to me. And when you go to God, you must have a body like God. Uh, just like if you want to enter into the water, that you must have a body like a fish. Otherwise you cannot enter into the water. Similarly, when you enter the spiritual world, then you have a body like God. Uh, and if you don't want, if you want to enjoy unrestricted sense, then you take the body of a hog. So nature is open to everyone. You can select your own. Not that uh, uh, you are forced. You can have your own. Therefore it is said, Kovida, uh, one must be intelligent to select what is my next life, how I can get out of That is the whole instruction of the Vedas. How we can get out of these clutches of karma bandhan, the knot of karma, one after another. Uh, so, uh, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna Personality, says that janma karma me dibbam jo jana ati Simply one who understands what is God or Krishna, simply, uh, not that here is God. Uh, no. He must talk, talk, talk. He must know what is God. Just like the rascal is advertising, no book, I am God. You accept me. Now how can I accept you, God, without book? But people are so rascal, they are accepting. Yes? And going after it. They have become so cats and dogs that anyone says that there is no need of understanding through book, through no, book of knowledge. I say, you accept me. The rascal will do that. Everything in the scientific world, there is book. In any science you take, suppose in botany, they are mentioned. These three, this is the characteristic. A mango tree, the leaf is like this, the fruit is like this, the taste is like this. Chemical, take any chemical, there is characteristic. Just like uh, what is called like potassium cyanide, there is no taste, and the chemical characteristic, there is no mention of taste, because potassium cyanide is not yet tasted by anyone, because the tasting means immediate death. Potassium cyanide. So chemical, there is the color is like this, the taste is like this, reaction is like this. Say so everything has got a taste, but these rascals without tasting, accepting another rascal as God. Yes. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he was asked that how to accept one God, he said, well, there is in the Shastra mentioned the characteristic, according to the characteristic, if it is corroborating, then he is God. No, this rascal is saying, no, there is no need of God. Hey, hey, book. Uh, simply, I say, you accept it. Uh, then people are accepting. How foolish rascals they are. Just, there must be a test. 
we are accepting Krishna as God, not blindly, but by tasting. Uh, by tasting uh, his character is mentioned in the book. Uh, therefore, we accept God not by blind faith, but by tasting. Uh, although we cannot taste, but Shastra gives us the chance of tasting. We accept spiritual master by tasting, not by blind faith. No. Uh, according to the Vedic instruction, tad vijñāna thaṁ tasmād guruṁ prapadita jīgyāsu sri uttamam shābdi parecha nisnātam These are the qualifications, symptoms of guru. Shābdi parecha nisnātam He has got full knowledge in the transcendental science. And without book, how he has got knowledge? Or without hearing from another authority? Uh, so, uh, so one must be intelligent. Then he can become free from this knot, hard knot of material life uh, by cutting it uh, with the weapon, jad And what is that? Uh, Chindanti ko chindanti cuts kovida intelligent stasa kona kujat katharati katharati. One should be intelligent enough to understand or to hear katha of Krishna. Simply you have to do this. Just like uh, you are all sitting here. Uh, it doesn't require that you have to pass any examination, PhD examination. God has given you the ear. Simply sit down and hear from a realized person. The words are there, the message are there. Just like Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, especially. Everything is there to understand about God. Simply you have to increase your attachment for hearing. That is that qualification required. Not that first of all you pass an examination, then you come here and you can understand. No. Simply by hearing, 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 you will become expert. Kovida. Uh, simply. That this process has been approved by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sthani sthita sutigatang tanuvang manogi. Uh, you can remain in your position, but try to hear the transcendental message from realized soul. Then gradually you will be enlightened and you will be free from this knot, this material bondage. Thank you. Oh,